Greetings guys, it's Irish here. In this video I thought I would show you how to put image previews in the Ranger file manager, which is a NCURSE's file manager for the terminal. So if we go to another terminal here and say Ranger, I've taken a couple screenshots and as you can see, you can see them over here and then I'll uh, show you guys how to do this. So I'm just going to show you this on my desktop but I'm unable to install simple screen recorder for some reason so I decided to SSH so there might be a little bit of, de of a delay um, just keep note of that. So the website that you see here is the GitHub which I will put in the link down below and it tells you how to get the image previews for Ranger. So you would need W3M, which is a terminal web browser. Now, if you're on Debian or Debian derivatives, you'll need W3M image display, or I'm sorry, W3M-IMG. So you would need to get this package alongside Ranger if you want to do this. Now this also tells you how to do it in different terminals so the one that I use this is URXVT so it tells you on Gen 2 here I'm unable to do it based off of what it says here but from what some of my arch friends say that it does work out of the box there but you do need to get the RxVT Unicode PixBuff here and then if you're on Gentoo you would need to make sure that you have the flag enabled so I'm gonna do that really fast so on Debian and the other non-arch non-Gentoo -de derivatives I don't know if the PIX buff is included inside the package itself. I would check uh, just to make sure that it does work. But uh, so let's say sudo vim etsy portage package use ranger. Or XVT. I have it right there. Put in my password. So I need to go all the way down to the end and just say picks buff. Now, because I changed the flag, I'll need to re emerge it or reinstall it. AV RxVT Unicode. So once this pops up, you'll notice that the Pix buff has a star next to it, so that means it's going to be included. So I'm just going to click that. The next thing we can do. Um, is in Ranger uh, if you haven't installed the config file the rc.com file probably wasn't generated during the installation so you will have to do uh, the config equals all see if that's done yet Okay, so if we go into our .config ranger, so if we go here, as you can see, there is no rc.conf. So what we're going to do is just copy this. This is from the Arch Linux website. And then click that. So now if we ls, you'll see that the rc.conf is there. Next thing we have to make sure is that we have w3m. So 
So it is installed here. So what we're going to do is change the configuration file, the rc.conf file. So what we're going to look for is down one more. So it's one of them is going to be set preview underscore images. You're going to change that to true. And then we're going to go down once more. Now the one thing that wasn't working for me under Gentoo here is the set preview underscore images underscore method. So if you're on Arch or any others, you just want to say URXVT if you have URXVT or Xterm or whatever uh, uh, terminal that you have. You can say full and this should go full into it. So if hit uh, save and quit. So if we go Ranger, I don't think this will work. Uh, I do have to do another thing. So yeah, under your XVT under Gentoo, it's unable to work. So what we're going to do is say the RC, and we'll just change it back to W3M. Save and quit. Once again, Ranger. And unable to do that. So I think we missed a package. I think we need to get this package here. So what we're going to do is get that installed. Now again, you probably don't need this to do this in the other distributions, uh, just in here in Gentoo, but you just want to make sure that you have proper imaging. I need to do some administrative stuff, so sudo etc update dash 3 Yes, redo it. While that compiles, uh, I wanted to show you guys a new, uh, a new channel that I subscribe to. This guy uh, does a lot of Calculate Linux and General Linux and stuff like that, so he is very cool. Um, very cool uh, YouTuber that just started uh, probably a little bit ago and he's quite the character his name is Dirk and uh, Dirk I'm sure you're gonna be watching this but you really need a, uh, a screenshot here man um, so I, I, I thought I would you know do that for you I think you should probably just use you know Dirk the Daring from Dragon Slayer uh, I think that would suit your channel quite well Let's see if uh, the thing is done yet. Yep. Okay, so let's go back into Ranger. Let's see if this works. Okay, so it's still not working. I don't know if it's because it's through SSH or not. But to what I had to do on my laptop here was change another thing here. I needed to do borders uh, because if I didn't do the borders there's the images that have black lines through them. So if we go back into the rc.conf I'm just gonna search for border draw borders I'm going to say that to true save it now let's redo it so if we go back okay I'm going to guess just because this is through Okay, I'm going to guess just because this is through uh, 
SSH that it would work, but again, I'll show you what it looks like under my laptop here. So if you go down, I did the exact same steps I did on here, as you can see right there. Uh, let me show you really fast what it would look like without the borders. Uh, so Vim config ranger rc border. So if I change this to false, save it, now do this again. As you can see what it does, uh, it just gives a nice black line through it, even in full screen mode. So that's why I had to do the drawing the border. Now, again, some of my Arch Linux friends said you don't need to do that if you're doing uh, if you're doing it on Arch. So let me know if you guys have any questions. Um, and I am actually planning if I can get uh, it enabled and everything. I want to do a live stream tomorrow. Um, maybe around this time, so around 9 o'clock, 8.30, 9 o'clock Central Standard Time, since I do live in Illinois. So if you guys are interested, I'm going to try to do that tomorrow. So hopefully you guys can stop by, and I will see you guys tomorrow.